What's up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are going to be doing a full installation as well as unboxing on the Focal 1000 series, in particular, the ICA6, which is an aimable speaker that we're going to be using for Dolby Atmos here in this home theater in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm going to be bringing on National Sales Director Kellen Fleener to give you guys a little insight into why we chose this product as well as go over it and take it out of the box. If you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, reach out today for a free video consultation with one of our specialists. We're nationwide and would love the opportunity to earn your business. All right, guys, let's get into it. Thanks, Zach, for bringing me on. Again, this is Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. This is kind of my stomping grounds. This is kind of in my backyard. So if you are interested in having a system put in, my team would be the ones to actually install it and consult with you personally. But we are in a beautiful home using the Focal 1000 series speakers for this system. As Zach said, we're gonna be unboxing and going through all the models, but in particular, showing emphasis on the Focal ICA6. Focal, this is a made in France company. They make all of their drivers in-house. They use trickle down technology on all of their speakers. Speakers. So Kellen, I think it'd be really great if you could talk a little bit about the trickle down tech that's in the 1000 series that they're gonna see in some of the flagship like floor standing speakers. Have you ever heard of a half a million dollar speaker? Focal, you know, in their grand utopia. Gala Evo X, uh, yep. Yeah, so um, they're about, what, 380 each? They're gonna be utilizing the same woofer materials. Obviously, they're gonna be larger woofers than you'll see in these speakers here today, but you'll see some of that same technology trickle down to their lower models, still in the, I'd say, higher Yeah, realm. higher end. But um, even if you've heard like their Sopra series, that's yep. a very, very popular and 20, affordable 20, <laughs> speaker. 20, for a pair. Yeah. Uber popular in the uh, in the audio realm. Heard of Focal, you've probably at least seen their Sopra or Kanta speakers. Some of the technology from those speakers will be in these speakers with the Focal 1000 in-wall and in-ceiling architectural line. The W sandwich uh, membrane that makes up the diaphragm for the woofer material and then the beryllium tweeter and so they have different variations inside focal how they can make that inverted dome beryllium tweeter sound different within the lines with their you know maestros sopra line the canta line they all utilize beryllium inverted dome tweeters but they do have different voicing yep. uh, that, that does make them sound different, not in a bad way, but they just, a distinction of how they sound. But you're sound. definitely going to be able to audition a Focal Sopra pretty much anywhere in the country. That's where I was kind of going with this, is a lot of people are like, oh, I don't know, I've never heard this in wall. Well, you may never be able to actually hear this in wall unless one of our customers lets you swing by their spot or you know set up an appointment to visit a very specific location. But with the beryllium tweeter, the same woofer makeup, you can get an audition pretty much anywhere around the country. Focal is really well known here in the States and overseas as well. It's a, it's a worldwide brand. We've been very happy and our customers have been blown away by the performance of this 1000 series. It is hard to make that buying decision without hearing it. So I just wanted to point out that there's a lot of similarities in the tech and it's all trickled down. All right, let's take this thing out of the box. Absolutely. First thing on top is going to be accessories box here. So once you open it up, you're gonna have some of the boring stuff. You're gonna have a grill scrim. So if you want the metal grill over the, over the speaker, you don't wanna see through that metal grill. It comes with a stickable scrim cloth that you can stick to the back of the metal grill. If you're not gonna use the grill, um, you can skip that step. Um, obviously, with all of their speakers comes the construction dust cover. So we'll be utilizing that as well. And then if we were retrofitting, um, the customer did get the Focal brackets ahead of time. So it is going to make our job very seamless and very efficient. It's what we love to do. We like to pre-wire. Um, get those brackets in. Let the guys that do drywall cutting for a living do that for us. If you needed to make a new hole, you'll just utilize this template to make the correct size hole for the speaker. Comes with a circular grill and a square grill. So both grill options are included. The square one is in here. 
the circular one is painted navy to match the room. One quick thing, guys, that I want to add in here. These speaker grills have been painted already. The process is very important. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how many times I've seen these grills clogged up and I just feel so bad for the homeowner. When you're doing grills, there's a couple ways to do it. The easiest way for, for DIY customers is spray paint. Try to get a spray paint that's the same exact uh, color. And or you it, can have one custom made to match your swatch. And that comes out just super thin. And if you hit it from a distance, you're pretty much golden. Like anybody can do it. So that's my number one choice. Number two, if you have painters in the house that are like painting the rest of the home and you don't wanna go custom make a can, they can water down their paint and then spray from a distance. Just really light coats, guys. I mean, the what I see is the grill's getting clogged. You don't want to roll it with a roller. You don't wanna brush it. And you don't wanna hit it with the standard paint without kind of cutting it and making yeah. it thinner and hitting it from a distance. I just wanted to add that in because it's really frustrating after you do your whole theater and you're, you go to for that last step to paint the grills and then they get clogged. Even though they are replaceable. Yeah, we can get you new ones. They are fun, just adds more time and labor. One of those things where it's like, ah. Take your time, do it ah. right. It can easily be done, but it can easily be messed up. All right, continuing on here, we have the warranty documentation and a spec guide. You can also scan the QR codes to get additional information on the Focal series speaker itself or the Focal brand in general. But if you open that up, you are going to have a little install diagram here, step by step, really easy to follow. Kind of a two part install for this speaker. You do have the cradle that goes inside of the hole beforehand. Uh, once it grabs, you'll kind of add some tension and then you'll actually pop this lock in. So you'll need to actually pull this up and push it down to lock it. Um, so that there you can see it's kind of locked. But once it gets more tension on the drywall, you won't be able to move this. Yeah, as you guys can see, there's like a little, it actually drops down into that clamp. All right guys, so this is the Focal 1000 series ICA6. This is an angled baffle speaker. The speaker woofer and tweeter are actually angled inside of the overall casing of the speaker. So it's not a complete just radiating down firing speaker. The, the ICW6, the ICW8, those are both the six and a half inch and eight inch, just down straight down firing and ceiling speakers. Those are good for overall coverage, distributed audio. Uh, these can be utilized for discrete channels for home theater, or if you need to direct sound a certain direction. So if it's up against a wall, if that's the only place you can put speakers, you need that music to be pushed more into the living area or wherever, you can utilize these or the IWLCR to help direct that sound. Um, to a certain position. We are using these in a home theater configuration as a discrete channel for our Atmos. So Atmos is an atmospheric audio codec where it is adding height to your surround sound. Traditionally, surround sounds were gonna be used with speakers that surround you in room close to ear level. So we are utilizing that still today. We're gonna have seven speakers that are um, going to be as our bed layer speakers. And bed layer, I mean ground effects, things that are happening on a ground level, people running, cars, boats, anything that would in everyday life be happening on the ground. And then to add height effects, um, birds chirping, wind blowing around the room, helicopters, planes, um, you know, overhead comets, missiles, whatever, any overhead effect that the director or the sound engineer mixer is wanting to utilize to make your room more atmospheric, we're gonna be using these. So what's awesome about these, again, they're angled. You have the woofer and the tweeter both directed to you, which really helps with time alignment and arrival. When these low frequencies from the mid bass woofer and the tweeter are arriving to your ear at the same time, it becomes a more convincing experience to your ears that that was a realistic representation of how that sound sounds in everyday life. And this is a two piece design guys. Whenever you go to flip it up, it actually puts pressure on the dog leg to where it pushes it down and locks like that. 
And then the speaker, if you look at the backside, see these little slits right here? Here, 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 all the way around, all four locations. These little hooks go and clip in there to where then once you lock it in, it has this lip. Speaker, obviously we're upside down, but is just gonna fall into place. And I'm trying to show this to you guys like out of the attic space so that you actually get an idea. We've had a lot of questions and concerns and in installation problems with this speaker. So we wanted to make an in-depth video. Did you hear that? I'm sure you guys heard that snap. That means we are locked in. So now the speaker can't move. It can't go anywhere. All right, so whenever we push the speaker, first of all, you'll wanna get the bracket aimed towards the seating area. Um, that red indicator is, is just a indicator on the bracket um, where you would like to point the actual tweeter. So let's say we've got it lined up right towards you, the viewer, and then you'll want to get these arrows lined up with the unlocked on the actual bracket. So boom, boom it'll slide right in there. See how it's lining up with these slits and then you just rotate it onto that lip and that's what holds it in place. So what you're looking for guys is just that all of them are underneath that lip, just like that all the way around. And you won't be able to see it in the, when you go to put it in the ceiling. So I wanted to show this view for you guys um, of it out of the ceiling. But essentially, we're just gonna line up that red line, that red little um, speaker emblem here with our target seating area, line it up on the unlocked and rotate into place. We're gonna continue to move forward with the installation process now. As you can see, up in the ceiling, we have our pre-construction brackets already installed as well as the sheetrock guys, drywall guys have come and cut it for us. So we're gonna proceed with taking our wire, our shielded UL listed in wall rated speaker wire that we do sell it here at Dream Media for pre-wiring. We're gonna splice it back. That is 14.2, by the way. I don't know if we covered that in this room. And for most home theaters, we're using 14 gauge, 12 gauge, or for entry level theaters or shorter run smaller systems, we'll use 16 to wire as well. We're gonna go grab a ladder and pop these in ceilings in. Let's go. I would like to point out that these pre-construction brackets that are pre-installed here make life so much easier. I mean, order these when you're consulting with our specialist because you can have these bolted in during the framing stage and then the sheetrock guys just cut all the holes for you and makes it to where you just come and pop them right in. If you're DIYing, that can just be a lifesaver. So even my pros out there, you guys know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna strip this back about a quarter to a half inch of shielding. Now we're going up. like that. The same process that I just showed you over there on the ground, we're just repeating it here in the ceiling now. And we're gonna go red to red, black to black, push button terminals. Now we're just gonna take our speaker, go up into the ceiling, line up our unlocked arrows like this. And we're gonna rotate it right into place like that perfect so now we got our red arrow with some sound waves we got the tweeter woofer everything pointed right towards our target seating area the last thing is just putting on our dust cover so these dust cover here guys um, are a lifesaver whenever you're doing a theater there's multiple phases to the process and one is touch-up paint whenever we're doing touch-ups we appreciate the painters making everything perfect, but we definitely do not want paint on our brand new speakers. All right, Dream Media family, we just finished all of our in-ceiling, in-wall speakers. We have the Focal 1000 series flanking all the way around the room for our bed layer, the LCRs up front, and then our mono speakers for our surrounds and surround rears, in addition to our overhead ICA6 Dolby Atmos aimable speakers. We have four of those now installed in the proper location. Got all of our paint 
guards on. Now we're gonna be moving on to the next step in this installation. If you guys are interested in seeing this full blown install, be sure to head over to the Dream Media Home Theater YouTube channel and subscribe. We'll be dropping a full video on this room, trying to make it as long and in-depth as possible. But this is just a micro video for the installation and overview of the Focal ICA6. If you're interested in purchasing this product or anything else home theater related, be sure to reach out today for a free video consultation with one of our specialists. Dream Media is nationwide and we would love the opportunity to earn your business. We have installers in 28 different states as well as an online store where you can shop online. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach out here with Kellen from Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Woo, woo, woo.